So for this week, we were talking about going through all of our previous chapters read in the Paul and Elder text. Um, <clears throat> I went all the way back to week two in my notes, and one of the, I think it was mostly from a YouTube video on that Dr. Paul was giving, but really the thing that stuck out to me the most, impacted me the most in all of this that we've done in the process of writing is the, uh, the types of logic that we use and how logic of reasoning, the logic of content, and the logic of thinking um, are all interrelated and all rely on each other to make a triangle. Because, um, you know, if, any, if you remove any one part, the triangle falls down and it, um, everything comes undone. <clears throat> but I think for me, the probably should have done this before I wrote the paper. Um, to make sure that I got the most input or most out of it to really kind of hone in and, you know, frame my thinking before starting on it. But um, writing this final paper was really, um, it was actually one of the papers I enjoyed writing the most. I think maybe it was in part due to the fact that the generational leadership management topic that I picked for it is something that I've been really interested in for a long time and that I've, whenever I have time, I, you know, watch a TED talk here, or read an article there and um, kind of keep up with it, I guess is the way to put it. But um, I wrote, as I was writing, I realized that I was writing in little spurts and then I would go back and reread the spurt that I just wrote and I would, and as I was reading, I realized I was using at least some of the, um, standards of thinking that we talked about was I being was I being clear was I precise was I using the right word to describe the right thing the right way <clears throat> and um throughout you know reading each section make sure that it did what it was supposed to and then that it was either leading into or uh, feeding feeding into the next section to make sure that it, everything continued to flow but also was never too far removed from the core topic um and then, uh, then we, then I finally finished it. And then, you know, reading section to section um, is good, but reading the whole thing from uh, backwards to frontwards is something that I've tried to do, at least when it comes down to writing papers that really need to be spot on. And um, it, it worked, everything flowed really well. I was really happy with, um, how I the final product and thank you to everyone who commented and gave feedback to uh, this week Emily uh, those articles were really really helpful um really put me on another um like brainwave of finding source documentation to <clears throat> tie in my topic to how it's applicable to me and it's was really great to see that there were other people I guess who were thinking the same thing said hey this is this is a topic that we need to focus in on that it uh, requires our attention. So I uh, kind of feel like I was all over the place on this post, but kind of been all over the place on a lot of my posts. So I'm not going to think too much into it.